Hey guys, and welcome back. So in today's PyQt5 tutorial, what we're gonna be doing is making an application that can change between images. So you can click image one or image two, and it will show a different image on the screen. So this is gonna teach us how to work with images and there's something called QPix map, I think. Um, and then obviously how you know you can change those images using the button. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is actually build our UI. So we're going to do that from just the designer right here. So I'm going to double click that load up We're going to create a new main window like we've been doing all along. And now I'm going to show you how we can actually create a little area to set a photo. So what I can do is actually drag a label in, believe it or not. I know it's kind of a weird thing to use, but I'm going to bring a label. I'm going to just drag this to whatever the size of the images are that I want it to be. And then what I'm actually going to do is scroll down here. I'm actually, I'll change the name first of all to just be photo because we're going to store our photo and I'll scroll down to where it says uh, pics map. Now here is where I can actually select a photo that I want to show using this label. I know it's kind of like a weird thing. We're using a label to show a photo, but you can use different widgets to actually show this pixel map. Okay. So if I want to show a specific photo and I don't want to change it, or maybe I want it to start as something, I can go ahead and click on this little down arrow and click choose file. So if I go to choose file, I go to uh, where would I have it in here? So maybe cat and I click open, you can see it shows this cat. Now notice, however, though, that it doesn't show the entire cat. Like I move it around and it's kind of cutting stuff off uh, and it's keeping it on the original scale of the image. Now that's fine in some cases, but maybe we want it to actually scale to be the size of our window. So to do that, what I'm going to do is actually just click scaled contents. And when it does that, it's going to stretch it or shrink it or whatever it needs to do to make sure it fits in that kind of constraint box that we've created. So I'm just going to leave that like that for now. And what I'm going to do next is, um, we'll just add some buttons in that are going to allow us to, you know, change this image. So let's go with two buttons. So we need two push push buttons. I need one there. I need another one here. Now we can make these bigger if we want um, to show up, you know, a little bit larger on the screen. Maybe we'll do that and make it look a bit nicer. And I'm actually going to make this one say cat and I'll make this other one say dog so that this way we know which button is going to go to which image. Now, obviously, you know, you could do more than one button, but in our case, we will just do two here. Um, let's try to get these pretty even. And you know what? That is good with me. Okay. So now I'm just going to change the name of these so that it makes sense. So I'm going to say this one is dog and this one is cat. And that's about all we need to do. Um, and yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to save this as test.ui. I'm going to do that in my PyQt5 folder. So we'll save that there. And now we're going to need to convert that to the Python file, which we've already done a bunch of times, but I will show you guys once more. So we're going to go, we're going to find where this UI file is. It's important that wherever this is, your images are here as well. So whatever image you might want to um, show on the screen or is going to be a part of the UI needs to be kind of beside where the Python file is so that it can actually access it. And what we're going to do now is just go into CMD, go Python. And in this case, we'll go or not Python, sorry, pi UIC five hyphen X and then test dot UI hyphen O tutorial five like that. Okay. So run that. Now we have this tutorial five file and uh, I did tutorial five, not tutorial five dot pi. So let's run that again, tutorial five dot pi. And now let's open that up in subline text, which is right here. Okay. So awesome. So we can see that this is showing up and this is actually where we are creating the photo. So it says self dot photo dot set pics Mac, uh, pics map. And then it says QT GUI dot Q pics map cat dot JPEG. So we're actually going to copy this line because that's what we're going to use to change the photo when we click on those buttons. So let's go ahead and set up those buttons now. So we know that our buttons are called dog and are called cat. So what I'm actually going to do is just create some methods and I'll just say show underscore dog and this will be self and I'll create another one that says define show underscore cat. If I could spell that correctly and self. Now inside here, I'm just going to copy uh, what I had there for this photo. And what you can actually do here is just literally put the name of the file that you want to show. So in this case, you can see I have cat.jpg here and dog.jpg here as well. So as long as they're in the same folder, then you can show them just by typing it in like this. Otherwise, I think you have to define a path. Um, you guys can try this out, but I think if I had them in a folder, maybe I had a folder called 
IMGs. So let's actually try this and we'll see if it works. Uh, or I don't know if I can drag them in. Then what you would do is just do IMGs slash cat.jpg and then it would figure out where that actual image is. Anyway, so we're going to have cat.jpg and or I guess it should be the other way around. So cat is down here and dog is here. And then what we're going to do is just link up our buttons so that they actually call those methods. So to do that, again, this is what we've already done a bunch of times. We'll do self dot dog dot clicked dot connect show underscore dog. Let's make sure we have a self before that. And then same thing for cat. So self dot cat dot clicked dot connect self dot show underscore cat. So let's go ahead and run this. So right now you see we start with a cat uh, and if I go ahead and click dog, it actually changes over to the dog and then I can click cat and swap back and forth. Now let's do one last test here because this video is actually quite short right now. And let's drag these images into this IMG folder and see if we can get them to work by doing IMGs like this. So let's go IMGs, IMGs, let's run that and let's go cat, dog, cat, dog, cat, dog. And there you go. That shows you how to do that. So a quick reminder, make sure all your images are in the same main root folder as this. Otherwise, you're going to have to create the path. So like this images slash and then whatever the name of the file is. All right. So that has been it for this tutorial. I know it's a bit shorter, but that's kind of all I need to show you guys on how to display an image. If you enjoyed, as always, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more PyQT5 tutorials.